Good morning, viewers. We're back at the job again. We're here with the uh, ensuite bathroom job. So yesterday we were able to get some spotlights in, in the ceiling, and also in the uh, recess just above the mirror. Uh, Jaden's with us again. Yeah, he doesn't speak. Uh, but he's a good worker. Yesterday he uh, he did those sockets. Um, so we'll show you what we've got on with and uh, the jobs we've got to get on with today. We're using those Zeno uh, dimmer modules today, so we'll, we'll let you have a look at them as well. And so in here, in this ensuite, we have the three spotlights, also a sensor light just there, or rather a sensor, uh, which will light up uh, two little tiny spots uh, within the skirting board. And also there's these three lights here of where the, miss, uh, the mirror is going. And then that cable there is for the feed for a demister panel. So once we turn the lights on, there we go, all six lights come on. And of course there's a fan just over there above where the shower is. Okay, so now we're gonna get around to fitting these Zeno dimmers. So this is uh, easy fit three-way dimming. So normally obviously you'd only be able to dim from one location, then you'd have to either have a switch to turn it on and off, or a dummy dimmer, which is actually just a switch, but looks like a dimmer switch. But using uh, Smart, or the Z Smart LED range from Zeno, you can actually dim from three locations. This is really simple. Basically, it's a master and two slaves. So, very big box for effectively what is actually just three dimming modules. So that's the master dimmer, usual on off and then rotation. So this is for when you're trying to dim uh, LED mainly, as it's slightly more complicated than dimming regular uh, lighting. And then, as I say, two slave units. So how are we going to do it here? By the door over there we're going to fit the master unit, and then down here at this point, and just behind over on that one there, we're going to fit the master, uh, the two slaves rather, because that'll be either side of the bed, and then whichever point you're at, you can dim from those three locations. Just to show you what's in the rest of the box, if you're wanting to uh, fit them into a grid system, they give you not one, not two, but three different options of plastic boxes and that's it that's what's in the box um, if you're going with a grid so they give you many options for all the different uh, grids and they print on there which one it is so you can easily use it so uh, that is uh, our next task to fit these dimmer modules so we're going to use the Schneider Lise range of uh, dimmers because we've already got the Schneider USB double sockets fitted here so uh, we'll just change the module on the back. So these are the dimmer switches now in place. So this is the master dimmer switch, which obviously when you turn the light on, there we go, and then dim. It still needs to calibrate because obviously at a certain point this spotlight goes out then comes on and then switch off but also when we then switch on over here at this dimmer switch the light comes on again and it goes off so that's the Zeno Z Smart LED uh, dimming switch so that's it we've finished this job so we'll just give you a little tour so here's the bathroom, the ensuite bathroom that's now been uh, installed. We've got our fan isolator switch above the door, our Time Guard branded timer spur, which is for the towel rep. So let's go in and uh, have a look. So we pull the pull cord on and the small spotlights above the mirror come on and the three spotlights in the centre of the room come on
Now this other spot thing here is actually a sensor. It's a very tiny sensor and this turns on these lights down here. Small spotlights so the camera may be able to pick it up. Yeah there you go. Once the uh, lights off. So that's in the event that if during the night you want to come in but you don't really want the glare of all the lights you can just have these lights on. Uh, customer's idea actually but I think it works really really quite well. This is the electric towel rail so we've filled that with thermal fluid and put the immersion element in and that just connects into a blank plate there obviously with the switch on the outside a fan above the shower now if anybody's watching eagle eyed and think oh that's within the zone that's actually just outside the zone that's just above the 2.25 meters uh, that's required as part of the regulations so that's that done and we are out of here thank you very much for watching if you would like to subscribe please click below if you would have enjoyed this video please click like and you may wish to watch some others uh, other than that uh, please click on the patreon link which i'll put in somewhere somehow and thank you very much for watching adios